Aloha everybody, Sean with Homestead in Hawaii. I am back. I took a couple weeks to just focus on surfing. I went to Waikiki and surfed out in the South Shore over there and a bunch here on the Big Island. And now I'm back on my homestead, uh, focusing a little more on work I need to do around the house and videos that I need to make for you guys because I've been neglecting that. And today we are going to work on cleaning our solar panels here. Uh, it rains a ton here in Pune, but you know what? That does not get the solar panels clean. They still accumulate gunk and dirt and just a little bit really lessens the efficiency of the solar panels. In fact, I just got a brand new battery bank on my system. I upgraded from four um, batteries up to eight uh, batteries that are all six volt each. I have a 24 volt system, so I had to have groupings of uh, four and four to make uh, two 24 volt pairs. So I just really amped up my battery system and now I need to get my solar panels cranking so that I could get them fully charged every day because right now it's not doing it. So we're gonna get into how to properly clean our solar panels and um, what sort of uh, soaps to use, what sort of tools to use and not use and exactly how we're gonna do it. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first step to washing our solar panels is to get our uh, washing solution all made up. And it's pretty simple. It's just a little bit of dish soap, non-abrasive dish soap, and some vinegar. So I'm not, I'm not very particular in measuring everything out. I kinda just eyeball what we're gonna need. But, um, you know, I'll probably put like a quarter of this soap in and uh, probably the equivalent of quarter to half a cup of vinegar and uh, the rest water. And this is the perfect solution for your solar panels to help break down the dirt and grime and not to harm any of the electronic equipment that exists in the panels. Now, can we use other um, soaps and whatnot to clean our panels? Of course. There's other soaps that exist out there that are part probably actually manufactured particularly for solar panels. But why go out there and buy something when you could just make it with stuff you already have at home? So let's fill this bucket up. Okay, now what are we gonna use to actually scrub and clean our solar panels? If you want to, you could just use a sponge or a towel and get up there and do it all by hand, just uh, like Karate Kid, wax on and wax off, and clean those panels. Or you can use uh, specialized tools. What you don't want to use is a pressure washer. You could harm your panels, perhaps crack them if you end up using too much pressure on one of those washers. Although it may seem tempting, especially if you have them up on a roof and they're hard to reach, pressure washer really seems tempting thing to use. But for me, I, I have this brush here. It's um, it's a specialized brush that a hose can shoot water through and it has a squeegee on one side and a brush on the other. That's pretty uh, coarse, but not too coarse to scratch your solar panels. And I found this to be the perfect tool for cleaning my solar panels because it extends out to about uh, four feet long and it's pretty stiff and rigid. So even though when it's out that far, it's not all flimsy and, and bendy um, like some tools can get. I found this thing on Amazon for pretty cheap. It was about less than probably $20. And I'll put a link below if you're interested in something like this. But I found it to be a real lifesaver, especially for my panels. I can't exactly get to all of them. And you can't walk on your solar panels. You can damage them that way. So having a tool like this is really handy. And especially for panels that are on the roof, you can reach areas where you just might not want to climb to. And so it helps to have a nice extendable brush. So let's take our soap, our brush, and our hose and get to cleaning those panels. Okay, we're up on the roof and here are my solar panels. You can see hopefully that they are a little bit dirty. There is some dirt here, especially along the bottoms that build up. And any little bit of dirt on these panels really hampers the efficiency. So we're going to clean these guys up. So make sure before you begin that you turn the whole system off before you start washing your panels. You don't want anything to happen to cause your panels to somehow malfunction. 
And then when you do that, I like to start off with the hose, get them a little wet, spray them down, see what I'm dealing with here, soften that up a little bit. Wow. You can see the discoloration on these panels. This has gone on for way too long. Okay, we're gonna dip our brush in the bucket. Get it all filled up with nice vinegar and soapy solution. And then start with a brush and start scrubbing. See the dirt coming off. It's just gotta use a little elbow grease. though how nice it is to have a brush that extends I don't have to climb around and get to the other side of my panels I could do it all from just one spot So the hose connected to the brush makes it a little harder to use, but you can see that it kind of washes as you clean at the same time. But preferably for me, I'd rather go without the hose because it's just a lot easier to use the brush. All right guys, there you have it. That's how to clean solar panels. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease and a good brush really. Whew, and maybe a less hot of a sunny day. It is hot up here. And you can see that I am sweating. And you know what, I think after this, I'm gonna to go to the beach. But before I do, I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please plant that finger on the like button. Every like really helps these this channel grow and helps more of these videos go to other people out there, people like you who wanna learn more about going off grid and how to do it in a economical and easy way so that it's accessible to everybody. And um, be sure to keep an eye on this channel. We got more videos coming up. I got some bamboo drying. I'll be making a bamboo treehouse in a little while here. Once that bamboo gets all ready, I'll be doing a more projects around the homestead, always trying to teach and help everyone out there learn. And I'm always learning. There's always new things that I'm getting into that I am just learning how to do. And that's the great thing about living this lifestyle. So everybody, till next time, aloha, ahuyo.